Okay, I think there was a buggy scene. There should be music now, right? Okay guys, welcome back to the SCPL. We are currently watching Valhalla Team vs White Clan. I am your host, uh, KixSD, uh, obviously SCPL TV, the other account. If you give both of those a follow on Twitter, that would help me out. And obviously sub to SCPL TV on YouTube, uh, just because that helps the SCPL as well. So... Man, okay, I'm, I'm reading FBW right now. Things are not looking good. But either way, uh, pretty cool. Nevertheless, uh, we're going to be going into game number three, uh, which is going to be between these two players right here. Soso -so was subbed out with Dates. Uh, so Dates going to be our Protoss player here. Currently two for three in this round of the SCPL. And his opponent fighting for White Clan going to be the Terran the legend himself, Famasi. Uh, currently three for one this round. Three, uh, five for one against Protoss. So this is going to be a very, very strong and hard matchup here for Dates to go through on. And just to prove how strong Famasi is, you can see he's currently third in the overall rankings, just behind the Yeti and Koga with a 13 for three win ratio. Uh, Versus Protoss is actually a second best matchup, only to Versus Terran. And Dates, obviously not in the top 10, hasn't played enough games just yet. Uh, but they are going to be moving on to Neo Ground Zero. Uh, now, Neo Ground Zero, obviously a very cool map, very standard Macri. Mains are absolutely gigantic here. Very, very good for Protoss. Uh, we have seen. Uh, only two PBTs here so far, so it's cool to see another one. Uh, obviously, statistically, I would say this is definitely in favor of Famasi, but can Dates pull something out to throw Famasi off his game? Can he make something special happen? Can he bring on the comeback? Let's find out as we go into game number three between Dates from Valhalla Team and Famasi from White Clan. Now starting us off here in the top left hand position is for White Clan. It's Famasi. And if you can hear me typing, it's me trying to start the poll and spawning down here in the bottom right hand position. Uh, sorry, bottom left hand position. We do have our Yellow Zerg fighting for Valhalla team. It is. Dates. Yeah, I've just realized I've not been adding the votes at all, but one of the cool things I've added for SCPL is some votes. So just while there's a little bit of a lull in the game, uh, the other day I was doing this while Rapid was talking, but obviously I am by myself today. Uh, there should now be a vote on your screen. If you press one of the names, you can vote who you think's going to win. Uh, that'll re uh, release the results in the chat as well. Uh, so a pretty cool extension I found on Twitch. Uh, I think I'm the only Broodwar streamer using it at the moment, so... 
trying to uh, innovate a little bit more with the SCPL stream, obviously. I'm the only SCPL, well, sorry, I'm the only Brood War streamer who uses a Java, well, a Java overlay system with a database is trying to organize all my uh, tournament stats, so uh, that's one of the things I've tried to pride myself in, trying to push the overlay to its limits. I uh, should have a second version of the database coming out soon, uh, which should give people the ability to see a lot more statistics. Uh, we're going to have stuff like match history for players and things like that. So, really looking forward to getting that working. We do have a 12 hatch coming in from dates with a 12 pool behind it. Uh, we are going to see a 1-1-1 one, one, one coming in here from Famacy. Uh, Famacy is certainly a big fan of going for these heavy tech builds. Uh, looks like we do have 66% of the votes going towards Famacy and only 33% going for dates. So obviously you guys agree with the statistics. <laughs> I am always trying to push the boundary CT1. I always want to try and push to make things better, man. Going Valks in every matchup. Valks in TVT, man. They've got a good place. Valks in TVZ. Even better. And you know what, Famacy? Could be going for Valks here, you never know. But he is not mining gas anymore, so it's going to be a factory expand at least for him. Uh, we actually see the SUV stealing the gas. It's not often you see this happen. But here we go, let's see if it's going to work out. He's actually going to keep jumping on with his SUV. Obviously, uh, nowhere near as strong as a Zerg stealing, or sorry, as a Protoss stealing gas. Or even a Zerg stealing gas, as the building doesn't build itself. And the, I mean, the SUV is going to be a little bit dangerous, but, or a little bit in danger. But we do have some Lings on the way to help defend against this. And realistically, is that worth it? All, uh, all Dates really needs is a Sunken Colony. And as long as he gets that, he should be pretty well, sa uh, sorry, well safe. Valks in TVP on Sparkle are pretty good if they go Mass Corsair. We actually saw that in the ASL, so uh, really cool to see that here. You know what, Sparkle is one of those maps I've been toying with and adding to the SCPL. But I, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. Season 2, definitely could see it here, but one of the maps I've got in... in uh, in contention here for round four. I mean, we're going to see a creep colony coming up here. This is not going to be a sunken in time for this vulture, but the vulture actually sitting back in defense for now. Uh, we do have an, a machine shop coming in behind this starport in the top left hand position as well. Now, I can only assume that Dates does know about the vulture. I guess there was a little bit of lag here, as neither player really willing to do too much. Uh, but we've actually got an overlord here in this bottom right base uh, just to get ready to move on in. Uh, Link gonna move out to see what the Vulture is doing. And now the one problem is, or it's not really a problem, but one of the things about the SCPL and why I always cast from replays is it is a global tournament. Uh, to think about it, all the players on White Clan are from, uh, they're all from Korea. I don't know why I forgot the name of the country there. Uh, but all of the players on Valhalla team are a mix of Korean and South American. So uh, lag does come into it. And obviously, if I was streaming uh, or casting the games live, not that there's enough time in the day, uh, obviously I'd cause a lot more lag, and that's something I don't want to do. And that is entirely why the STPL Christmas Cup coming up in the middle of December is all going to be casted from replays as well. We'll be casting the best games from the tournament Obviously the semi-finals and finals as well, and I cannot wait for that. That should be a lot of fun. It's been a while since I've casted a solo tournament, but the Lings actually getting into the main, getting one of the Vultures. The STV block on the ramp is good, but the Lings in the main chasing away the Vultures, allowing more and more Lings to get in, but a little bit of Miss Micro. He's going for the barracks for some reason, but he gets another one of the Vultures. Can he get the third? Vulture, if he does, there's only going to be one Vulture left. A big amount of damage going down here by Dates. He's going to scout that there is a sign, so he's going to try and target it down. The Vulture still alive back here, but very, very low on health. Here comes the Repair. Can the Repair keep this Vulture alive? No, it cannot. There is very few units left here for Famacy. A single Vulture with speed is all that keeps him in this game right now. 
Uh, with good micro, he is going to be able to take this down, but is he going to be able to save anything? He doesn't kill the science facility, but he does delay the engineering bay. There are Hydras coming along here. There's no mines yet. This is going to be Hydras against Vultures with no mines. This is going to be so, so much damage coming in. The Marine goes down immediately. The SCVs have been pulled. Can Dates pull it off? Can he beat Famasi here? Hydras rallied across the map. There's so many of them. Famasi was not ready for this. The Wraith Alive has killed a single uh, a single drone. But that's not going to be too important. The SCV is getting on top of the Hydras, so he needs to stop this bunker going up. If this bunker goes up, he can get the Marine inside. Can he snipe the Marine? The Marine's so close to the bunker. The Marine gets in. Is this going to be enough to hold on? Famasi has very little mining. But it looks... Like he's held on for now. There's only four SCVs back here mining though. So Famasi is very far behind where he wants to be. But we have seen in the ASL. We have seen in the KSL just how strong Marines in a bunker can be. But this command center very, very low. He's actually going to target the... Uh, well, he's going to target the uh, command center there. But he's going to get up on the high ground. There's no SCVs here to repair. The bunker goes down. The Hydras wailing down on the Marines. And GG, Dates takes out Famasi in game number three. That was a pretty sick game. Dates taking advantage of Famasi's lack of defense there does manage to take him out, breaking down the 1 1 1. And that worked very, very well. That's going to give Famasi his fourth win only overall in the SCPL over 60, over 17 games. So really well played there by Dates. Great usage of the build. Uh, but as I said before, Valks in TVP, if they go Mass Corsair, Valks are incredibly good. They kill Corsairs so, so quickly. Mass Scouts as well. Uh, but obviously that doesn't happen very often. Unless you're playing against a guy called Scout Zealot. And then you get screwed. But <laughs> that's a story for another time. I'm going to take a quick six minute break. And when we get back, uh, I'm going to take a five minute break actually. When I get back, we'll be casting game number four uh, between Valhalla team and White Clan. Can Valhalla team pull off the ultimate comeback? It's going to be up to Galaxy against Doggy. It's going to be a ZVP on Plasma. When we get back after this.